Okay, yard for next. Look, I'm just doing a little walk around, I'm getting a little exercise in before I get on that grill. But the, the topic of this video is lawn care is not easy, okay? So some of you guys, when you buy your homes and stuff, you're excited because ugh, you're buying a home. But one of the things I want you to understand is yard maintenance. In this video, I'm just gonna walk around, just gonna show you a few things. It's unedited, straight up R-A-W, raw. And you'll see like, like areas like this. Big ant mile. And it's full of crabgrass. You got clovers beside it, you got ripe weed, you got spurge, button weed. Um, that's all that I can see right now. And the yard is infiltrated with weeds and I just want to I mean look at this now one thing I will say that these people have hired uh, I want to say Scott's one of those companies and they've been coming out and I have seen probably 80% weed reduction I know it's hard to believe but I've seen it for those people who always say, oh, I don't use chemicals. Oh, it's just too much. You, if you don't use some type of prevention, you're gonna get ants. You're gonna get, I don't know if that's uh, from army worms. I don't know. But even just looking at the, 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 this property, all that vegetation, and it's gonna cost a ton of money to keep it up that's not cheap and as you age it's gonna be harder to maintain that stuff man <clears throat> i mean there's the evergreen i love those bushes right there the tall ones but the crepe myrtle and, and all the other stuff needs to be cut back and look at this infested with crabgrass infested with uh, spurge right here I think this is when they just waited too long to cut the yard and took off too much and you get that cabin carbonaro <laughs> set <laughs> but yeah it needs to be maintained right here it's, I don't know but that's that's somewhat manageable but as a homeowner you got to make these decisions you can't just go buy a house well you can you can buy anything you want but just understand the maintenance that's involved when you buy homes like this all right right here we have the common area now we do have a lawn service that comes out and and, and look they're gonna just cut it and look they just dumped the grass right there. That's dumb. That, that's not dumb, but at least blow it back in the woods. You don't let the grass sit there in, in sight. That needs to be blown back down into those woods. But they got one job, and they're just cutting the grass. Look at this. And this is supposed to be Bermuda grass. Well, no, it's not because they didn't put that. I think they put... Uh, fescue and i never understood why in the south builders put down fescue knowing that we get 100 degree weather and it's going to turn into a dirt pond or either a weed field soon now this yard i'm gonna be real with you as a landscaper if i was coming out cut it i love it no hedges just grass man just grass just grass same way up there a lot of hedges and this guy he, he maintains his he maintains his but the edging is not the best and that's primarily probably because he's using a weed worker a weed eater or he's not edging it enough all right let's get on up here and see these other ones okay and i'm gonna use my house <clears throat> let me you said go go georgia but you, let, me, let me show you something real quick. Here we are, uh, 1st of September. Let me tell you what I had to do 
just in this one that, that looks nice look at that guys look at that look at the edging though no weed eater stick edge i'm gonna keep talking about that because the way the youtube videos work you as an average homeowner or a new homeowner you see the guys with the string trimmers and you come and try that and your 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 line does not turn out like that let me show you what your line turns out look at that look at that <clears throat> This is how your line looks. You see, you see how big and gappy that is? And it's not straight, it's wiggly all the way down through there. But from a distance, it looks good. But when you get up on it, it's raggedy. Dirt does not grow back, guys. That's the proof. Anytime they take that string trimmer and they keep string trimming, they're kicking out dirt. And this gap is just gonna get wider and wider and wider until eventually you're going to have a Mr. T Mohawk right here. But I'm going to use my yard for an example. I'm going to tell you everything I did thus far. Just this the last couple of days. We put down a 1907 Let's Go fertilizer. The reason I did that is because I'm going to give it that last little push. I'll pull it back. Give it that last little push so I can try to get this grass to keep growing and to keep some green in it. All right. The weather is so messed up, you starting to see butterflies in August. That is crazy. But long story short, we did that. That area down there, this is the only side of my house that I didn't, I did an experiment, you know, trying to listen to these other guys, didn't put any insect control, and I got army worm infested on just this one particular part. My front, my other side, and my back didn't get it like this. So we put down insect control. Um, then I came back, I watered in. Next morning I came back and then we did the liquid. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll get all this information, guys. It's one, I know people, they, they get mad at me when I say follow me on Instagram, but I can't put every aspect of getting a good lawn or a perfect lawn in a YouTube video. You gotta find other avenues. That's just like going to one restaurant all your life. Yeah, it tastes good, but you're missing out on all the other stuff because you're 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 stuck on that one restaurant. You gotta try other restaurants. So we sprayed the entire yard. I sprayed a liquid fungicide. Now I did some experiment cut. I cut a tad bit lower right there to see what my greenness was gonna be. I did a little bit lower on that strip, but I came back up. Cause I wanna ride this, I wanna ride this out, out until the dormancy comes in and in my yard mid October is when mine start to go dormant but some of you guys are going to start to get the fade now all right so we put that down we put the uh bio advanced um insect control and feeder in my hedges the beginning of spring now that's a once a month excuse me once a year thing and I haven't had to do anything else to it. It's feeding them. They're looking lush. Um, I would say it got rid of probably 90% of my insect control issues in my shrubs. All right. We did granular all the way around the house. Now, I know I say mow every two to three days, but fall is coming. So I, I, I throttle back to once or twice a week. All right. Um, the, that I had to spray my beds for weeds. All right. Those down there, we sprayed those weeds. I'm going to do a video on teaching you how to keep it at those weeds out, but it's it's, it's going to probably be next season because season coming to an end. But I just want to show you some other stuff. Like this, the other common area. Nobody. Well, the lawn service comes out and cuts it, but they're not doing insect control or weed control. All right. I'm going to show you this right here. The inside of the gate, they don't do anything to. BYD, I run my, my um, 52Z master across that just to keep it cut down. And you can see it's weeds all in it, but the property goes all the way back down there. When I'm always saying mother nature wins in the end, guys, I want to show you this. All right. You see that area straight ahead. Zoom in straight ahead, right down there. 
I used to cut all the way around, even to the back of the fence. If you don't maintain your property, that's after one year. Look what happened. The county's supposed to come by and clean all this out once a year, and it fills right back in. So when I hear people saying, oh, it's a natural way of doing that, there are many natural ways to conquering these issues. But natural will not give you a fast, how can I say it, a fast reaction or a positive or the, the, the results you want real quickly. You know, you, you, it's a weight gain and it's going to cost your arm and leg. And guys, look at the engine again. Stick it. Don't use a string trimmer like you keep seeing all these YouTube professionals showing you how to use a string trimmer. I, I'm promising you, your line is going to be weak. That's going to be an anomaly. That's going to be somebody looking at this video saying, oh, I get it. I get it right all the time. You don't. You don't. The only way you're going to get it right all the time is you got a robot out there doing it and this laser perfection. The human aspect of it, even with a stick edge, sometimes you'll wobble off the line or whatever. Going to have those issues. Guys, this is for the average homeowner. Professionals, please don't comment about how great you are doing it. But guys, I just want to show you. It's, it's not easy. And on mine, I only have hedges right here. Those came, this came with the house and one on the back side of my truck over there. That's came with the house. And I did plan on putting some down the side of the house because with that shade and moisture, it's always looking bad. Guys, hopefully this video will just, you know, a little walk around. Just want to show you guys, guys. Lawn care is not easy, guys. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Make sure you click on this video right here to learn all the secrets for a new homeowner. You're tuned to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman. I'll talk to you soon.